Hey little cuties, Demi Bobimi here, and welcome to Coffee Date Vlog. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Oh, excuse me. Today I'm going to tell you the 10 things I love about Japan. And I haven't been here for very long, um, and I haven't gotten to explore as much as I would have wanted to by now. But I'm sure um, you can understand that time and money are factors. So anyway, let's just get into it. So the 10 things so far that I love about Japan. So the first one, top of my list, is that everybody here is very friendly. Everybody here is polite, they're nice. I love it. I feel like everywhere I go, everybody's super helpful. Like even if they hate me because I'm American, everyone's really helpful. Like if I go to the store and I'm trying to like buy food and like maybe I'm having trouble with the self checkout, like someone is always there to help me and everyone I feel like is so eager to help like while I'm shopping and it's really, it's really great. And I appreciate it because I feel like anywhere that I lived in America, not that people weren't nice and people weren't helpful, but people are very like kind of say to themselves and they stay kind of quiet. So it's kind of nice to come here and not being able to really communicate with anyone and everyone's just like super helpful. So that's something that I really like. The second thing on my list is something I'm going to miss whenever we leave here and that is the vending machines. They are everywhere. I know this is so weird, but <laughs> but stay with me, hold on. Um, these vending machines, are they're everywhere. They're so great. They dispense hot coffee, which is great. Like they're in a can. It's just out of this world amazing. I love just being able to like walk down the street and I'm like, hmm, it's kind of chilly out. Maybe I want some coffee. I can go get hot coffee just out of the vending machine for like 100 yen. It's stupid awesome. I love it. Something else that I really, really enjoy is how festive things are here. Um, there's always, I feel like, a festival going on to celebrate something. Like during this, win this last winter, there was lantern festivals, ice festivals, snow festivals, sculpture festivals. It's just like ridiculous. And um, we recently actually went to the Cherry Blossom Festival, which was absolutely gorgeous. And I honestly can't wait to go again next year. Uh, another thing that I really do love, which is a little bit maybe odd, um, but bowing, um, like when you are saying thank you, or you're meeting someone, or just generally being respectful, I absolutely love it. There's something that speaks to my soul, that it feels so right to say arigato, and it's, it's great, I love it. It's like probably one of my favorite things. Also, as you probably could imagine, everything here is like cute and little. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, the buildings are little and cute. The billboards are little and cute. Like, I swear to God, everything here is just so little and cute. Like, you go to the store and the grocery carts are like little teeny tiny grocery carts and it's so fun. I love it. And even the people are, they're all my size. Like they're cute and little. I mean, living in America, everybody is bigger than me because the average height of a Caucasian female is like five, four or something. And I'm like not even quite five two. So it's nice to be somewhere where everybody's your size, which makes me feel like they're small, but I'm kind of small. So we can all just be small together. <laughs> but anyway, everything, everything I have seen here has been cute and little. I love it. Something else that I really appreciate is that everywhere we have been, people take their jobs seriously. And I feel like that's something that I can really appreciate. In America, if somebody works at like a lower job, say like they work in like fast food or maybe retail, like, like they work at like Walmart or someone works at like Burger King or something. 
a lot of times I feel like those people don't give a shit about their jobs and they don't have any sort of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. They just don't have very good customer service. And I guess like, and I get that. Like I used to work at Walmart and I mean, it's not like a high paying job. It can be shitty. And when it's not like your dream job to like work at Walmart, like it can be discouraging. And so a lot of people, they just don't have very good customer service because they're not happy where they are. I get that. I, I get it. Um, but it's so nice here that like you go to McDonald's and people are so, they're attentive, they have great customer service, they're super nice, and it's something that I, I really love. Here, when you go to McDonald's and you buy something, somebody's not like, oh yeah, well here you go, they just like throw it on a tray and like throw it at you. Like here, it's, it's so very... But they're all very, it's very, you know, you know, you get me. Uh, another thing is the food, obviously. I mean, other than just the food generally being delicious here, I feel like there has to be like less preservatives or something in the food because it's all super delicious. And buying fresh food is so great here. Which, by the way, I feel like things are like weirdly big. Like fucking apples are like as big as my head. Like, the carrots are just insanely large. It's insane. It's crazy, and I love it. But the food here, I feel like, tastes better. Like, there's not, like, weird... I'm sure there are chemicals, because, of course, I don't read kanji. I can't read packages of the shit I buy. But, like, I just... <sighs> food tastes different here. Like, things taste fresher, if you feel me. Ooh, 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 this one's a good one. The public toilets, which is like insane. Being from America, public toilets are disgusting. People are freaking out. There's mass hysteria, riots in the streets. Public toilets are not typically good in America, but here they're so nice. At least all the ones I've been to. I haven't been to a creepy one yet. They're all so nice, they're so clean. If you get a western style toilet, they all have like a little control panel <laughs> on the side. And there's like a bidet on there, um, which I haven't tried, I'm too scared to try a bidet in public. It's a little too intimate for me in public. But anyway, so they have like this huge control panel and like the seats are heated. Yes, that is right, you heard me, the seats are heated. So if it's like snowing, the dead of winter, you can just go to the bathroom and sit down and it's heated and it's so nice. And in the bathrooms, they have this disinfecting spray. You like spray some on the toilet paper and you'll wipe down the seat and like lots of people do. And so like the seats are clean and it's so nice and it's heated and there's bidets. Also the, um, I guess Eastern style toilets, the squatty, squatty toilets. I don't know what you call them, but I'll probably find a picture and post it here for you. Those toilets, uh, you squat over them, and kitty, no, no, no. But the the Eastern style toilets, I guess you call them. I don't know what you call them, but you like squat over them, and it's so nice because I feel like if those were in America, there would be urine everywhere. Like I feel like people would just be peeing all over like the walls. Like it would be craziness. But here, it's so nice because they're clean. Oh, hello, kitty. So nice of you to uh, to join me. Also, another big one for me is the Shinto shrines. I love them. They're so, they're beautiful. Like no matter how big or small, all of the shrines that I have been to are so, they are beautiful. I feel so peaceful while I'm there and it's like, I belong there and I just absolutely love it. And I just love everything I just love everything about the Shinto shrines. They're just so beautiful. I love them. Uh, another fun one, and the last one, is the 100 yen store, I guess, would be how Americans know it. Um, I am speaking specifically of Daiso, which is so great. And now, it's not like everything is 100 yen, like everything at the Dollar Tree is like a dollar. 
it's more like everything is like 100 yen, 200 yen, like 300 yen, depending on what you're getting. But a lot of the things are like, they're not like great quality items, but compared to the Dollar Tree, the quality is like insanely better. Not like the Dollar Tree has like, it's all bad, but there's like a lot of stuff that's like, I mean, it's only a dollar, so if you imagine like the price of them making it and then like the markup for the profit, like the item's pretty cheap, right? So here, the things you get is just amazing. And they even have like craft supplies and like hardware stuff. They have, uh, which I'm so excited about, they have these like planks of wood that are like real wood for like 100 or 200 yen. And which is really exciting. I am actually going to make some nightstands for my bed because I keep like all the nightstands are like $50 a piece and I just like I just need it to hold the lamp in a fucking book like I don't need it to cook me fucking breakfast you know what I'm saying anyway beside the point <laughs> um Daiso is so great and I love it and also like it's extra cheap so if you think I mean of course like the currency exchange changes all the time but so 100 yen I think is approximately -ish, like 85 cents American that's cheaper than the Dollar Tree and it's better quality stuff I actually fun it's so fun so actually um a fun little thing I got the other day was this little leather leatherette little notebook for like a hundred yen and it's super duper cute so it has like this little elastic band on it and it's got this like ribbon to like mark your place and there's a lot of pages and they're nice and like thick papers like it's it's pretty nice and like this only cost me a hundred yen which is absurd so I really like the product. I mean, for a hundred yen, you can't beat it. But anyway, uh, those are the 10 things that I love about Japan and I may, may update this video. I might find some other things that I love more than vending machines than Daiso, but I doubt it. Also, speaking of my nightstands, I might actually record me making them. So who knows? I mean, maybe keep an eye out for that. I might might do that who knows you can say anyways guys thank you so much for hanging out i really appreciate it have fun i like hanging out with you you guys are so fun and if if you liked it if you like this video you should uh give it a cute little thumbs up a cute little japanese thumbs up um and if you like this and you want to see more of it definitely subscribe i am going to be posting these vlogs weekly so stay tuned stay tuned for that and I will see you little cuties in the next one. Bye!